Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to walk you through the process of creating an animated exploded assembly of your Automoblox T9 vehicle in this particular case. I am using Fusion 360 software, not Autodesk Inventor, so if you're looking for Autodesk Inventor help, you need to go find my video that I do the same thing in Inventor. Okay, um, So this is really simple in Fusion 360, we have a completed assembly, everything's locked together, I've got all my parts on the inside, even stuff that's hidden away like the one block socket. I have wheels and the wheels now spin together, which is really cool, but not part of this video. Okay, I can get all the wheels to turn together. All right, so what I'm interested in is the exploded assembly. And in order to do that in Fusion 360, we click on the model drop down and we go to animation. Okay, animation workspace creates animations of how the design should be operated, okay, how things should move, and also how they're put together, how they're assembled. So I'm gonna click on animation and that brings me into this view now instead. If your menu over here is collapsed, if it looks something like this, you will want to, for your sake, go ahead and expand that until you see all of the different components that we have inside of here. This will be very helpful later on. So to create an exploded assembly, it's very, very simple. First things first, I like, I prefer, to go select the things that I want to move first, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and let's start with the tire, and I'm going to hold down control or on a MacBook, you're going to hold down command. But if I hold down control or command, I can select multiple components at once. So I'm going to hover in here and grab the axle, tire, wheel, and axle on this side. And then I'm going to click M for move. It's also up here in the transform components. You can see that M is the shortcut, but M for move is what I want to use. Okay, so I hit M now or transfer components. I take this arrow and whatever direction I drag it is the direction that it's going to go. So I'm going to pull all six of those components out. I'm going to, I like typing in a distance just to keep things even. I'm going to say negative two, negative because it's the opposite direction of the arrow. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to click off of them so they're all deselected. I'm going to go through, I'm going to leave the axle there, but I'm going to use the control button or command button and I'm going to select the tire and the wheel in each case, M for move. Pull them out another negative two inches, opposite direction of the arrow. I'm gonna do this one more time with just the tires this time. I'm gonna leave the wheels where they are, M for move, pull these out. Oh, the arrow faces the correct direction this time. So now it's a positive two, but the same idea, right? And in essence, what I've just created is this. Take a look at this storyboard. It's really, really short, okay? This is gonna be fast. I don't know why I did this, but right? It'll show you an animation of what's going on. Now, let's talk about this. I'm glad this happened, I guess, because we're making a video on how to do stuff, okay? For whatever reason, these boxes, there's boxes down here, and those boxes are really, really skinny. Usually it doesn't do that, but I'm gonna go through here. I'm gonna select this one, see if I can get this all at once, okay? I can go through and I can modify these by dragging them outward. You can also do more than one. If I hold down shift, well, it didn't work because those boxes are so skinny. I'll show you in just a second how to do all of these in one step instead of doing them in six individual steps, okay? What I'm doing is this is the timing of what it's going to show. So watch what happens now. See how it's a four second process. When I click the play button, Now I can see that it takes four seconds and it will expand everything out and show how things fit together, which is really, really cool, I think, okay? I can do things like this. If I wanted some of them to start later than others, let's say I wanted those axles to stay put for a little while, I'm gonna go grab the two axles down here in the storyboard, hold control, select more than one at a time. I'm gonna simply drag those back and say, wait till the two second mark or so, okay? Now watch what happens. Two seconds in, the axles start to move, right? Let's say that I wanted those to finish at the same time, though. I could easily take the endpoint, shrink them down because they're both selected, right? And now they'll wait till the two-second mark to come out, but then they'll get there to their final position at the same time as everything else, okay? So that's pretty cool, okay? Now let's go through and let's talk about just, I'm, I'm not going to do all of this, okay? I would pull the other wheels out first, and I would get all the wheels out if it was me, and then I would start working on these pieces in the middle. But there's a lot of stuff that I can't select because it's in the inside. I can't even see it, right? So that's why we want to expand this menu over here, okay? Um, so I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to hover over here. I'm going to click on front, 
and then I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to go look for, oh, there's the one block socket that's hidden in the inside. And there's the two block socket on the inside. Here's the connector between them. And I'm going to hit M for move. And notice that I can do the same thing here. Okay, let's say I'm going to pull those out four inches. And even though I can't see them, I pulled all four of those out. Okay, and now let's go back and let's keep moving the, the two block it and the connector. But we're going to leave the one block in place. M for move. Pull this out, let's go like another two inches, okay? And now let's go through and just leave the, the connector in place. You see what I'm doing here, right? There's definitely a rhythm to this, okay? And you, you get in the rhythm and things go pretty quickly. The last thing I wanna do is just the front socket or the front, uh, excuse me, piece. Let's go negative two inches, okay? And you'll notice now we have those down here and I, I'm not messing with timing for this particular piece, but whenever I click play, I can adjust those just like I did the other one. I'm gonna pull all of those out as well. So we're halfway there. Your job then as a student, you see that looks funny by the way, that the tire's still there waiting for me. It's like it slid through the wood piece after it came out of the hole, it, it didn't. So that should definitely come out first, right? But this idea here, we want to complete and get everything expanded until you can see every single component that goes into that uh, T9 vehicle. And when you have that, then in the next video, I'll show you how to take this and create a parts list with balloons on a drawing file. Hopefully this makes sense. If you got any questions, feel free to ask me in class.